Modularity means as well that you can interconnect different processes together and change the arrangement. We spoke about 66% process reduction or optimization, right? Now, when we talk about process integration per se, uh, especially when we have to bring multiple unit operations together, and this is specific to solids, right? What are some of the tougher integration challenges that you personally have tackled, as well as uh, how does uh, modularity help simplify things here? Now, as, uh, as you mentioned, I mean, uh, interconnecting process is a key of process intensification. People do it already when they handle of liquid. Typically, you are not going to put a liquid in a bag and move the, your liquid around, except maybe in biotech technology, yeah. but that's a very specific. But as soon as you start speaking on powder, people try to, they don't really know anymore what to do. Uh -huh. As I say, for liquid, they will use a liquid pump, or they will pump it from process one to process two or process three. That's why you have already a pipe arrangement for handling liquid. But for sure, powder, why people are hesitating is because powder are not liquid, as we all know, and they're quite tricky because a powder could be very free-flowing, could be cohesive, could be uh, compacting. That's why every powder behaves differently. On some powder in the morning could be in a good mood, on that night they are not in a good mood anymore. That's why they don't flow anymore because you can ch have change of characteristic from humidity point of view. That's why a lot of operation has been done very manually when they handle powder. People still handling powder through a manual bag, charging process in a closed way. How DEC answer to that situation is really that we have developed, as I mentioned uh, before, our PTS, powder transfer system. And in fact, it's a very high efficient powder pump, which can handle pretty much most material, even from dry to wet materials, on starting at that time really to interconnect process together transferring powder into reactors, which could be a high risk because of explosion, because if you have uh, solvents, you bring powder, automatically you bring oxygen, and that's a risk of uh, creating an explosive atmosphere, which can lead to an explosion if you don't do it in a safe manner. Discharging slurry, uh, that's why you have, again, a liquid with suspension, which is quite complex, because you can have risk of a blockage on deposit. And then after you go to a wet cake, which is again more complicated because it's, it's kind of a, a more like a paste than a powder. And then you have dry materials. And if you go to macronization, you have particles which are very fine. That's why every time it's a different difficulties. Right. And does, is the technology allow it to handle all these different characteristics? And I would say, uh, and to be quite proud, is we have mastered that. But today, there is nearly no powder we cannot handle. And through that, you can really interface all the process together in a closed loop. Modularity means as well that you can interconnect different process together and change the arrangement. That's why from the start, we never rely on gravity. Because gravity has been always the standard way to handle powder. That's why you can see many plants with multi-story. Right. You start from the top, you go down and so forth, and then you go back. Yeah. But the problem, uh, the first issue when you design a plant like this, the bottleneck has been identified by major uh, pharmaceutical and chemical co companies was the uh, elevator. Mm -hmm. Because if your elevator breaks down, you yeah. don't go to the top anymore. Yeah, that's right. And this is where uh, this concept are not anymore the one preferred. And interconnect process by appropriate technology is the key and gives this modularity of the process. You talked about the pharma aspect. Uh, is it similar for non-pharma as well? Because I, I believe DEC also caters to the non-pharma uh, processes, right? Correct. As I say, powder could be used the same in chemical or in pharma. Powder could be toxic anywhere on toxicity. I would take a, an example as well on battery manufacturing. Great. To produce battery, in fact, you would ask, what is the similarity between battery manufacturing and pharmaceuticals? But in fact, I could say that we use exactly the same technology. There is no difference. Why is that? Because in battery, lithium-based uh, battery, or you may contain cobalt, they are as well quite dangerous material. It can contain cobalt on all these materials. And in fact, you need as well to protect people. You need to interface process. You have a risk involved also. And at the end, you will implement exactly the same operation. That's why, in fact, this technology can be used through their different industry in the same way. Because the key, or what we call keyword, are the same. You want to protect people, you want better quality, yeah. better attribute, uh, better, I would say, our, our automation. 
on at the end better efficiency for higher productivity. That's why you find across industry the same requirement. It's pretty much uh, industry agnostic. The process, like if it is, I will not say um, blindly industry ag agnostic, but yeah, it could be replicated to multiple industries. Correct. Yeah. Fully agree.